So it's been a super busy year. We've installed some really incredible custom reef jellyfish cichlids and just some incredible projects we've been working on all year. So let's go inside and talk about them a little bit, getting ready to head out into 2023. So our 1,680 gallon reef aquarium here in the lobby has just grown in tremendously this year. It's doing super well. And we go back into this whole year of projects. The big pond that we did over on Miami Beach, 2000, it's been running for several months now. That project is, is just stunning. Natural sunlight in the space, the mangroves are growing super well in the pond. The sunlight in there is intense and you can tell by the expansion of the polyps and the leather corals, the zoanthids, the mushrooms, and everything that's in there. It's an unbelievable aquarium. Coralline algae continues to grow in the bottom and the biology of that system is, is so incredible with a, a tremendous life support system in the garage. As well, earlier in the year, well, actually last year, we flew in this 900 gallon cichlid aquarium over the guy's house. There's a delay on millwork with COVID. Finally, the millwork is completed and we installed the whole filtration system on the big cichlid aquarium. And that's another really a prime example of a very large glass, high quality aquarium that we would build, albeit though in a cichlid fashion, but really a fantastic aquarium installation. The client is super thrilled. Thrilled. Maybe we'll go into 2023 and do another recap on that one, see how the cichlids are growing in. By now, he's got 100 cichlids plus in there, and they're probably this big by now, or at least some of them not that big, but a real beautiful school of cichlids. The other one that has really been notable this year was the Peninsula Reef Aquarium that we built. That one too had some delays because of the virus and the millwork going on in that house. That Peninsula, because there's so much space, you have about seven feet, seven feet, three feet. So you have a total of 17 feet, at least a visual space. And as you have this ability to see all sides of the reef, it also makes it more challenging to decorate, but that one's maturing nicely too. Has a super high quality filtration system and and it is really a, a prime example of creating a really successful marine reef aquarium that'll grow in through the years and years to come. It'll just be fantastic. Earlier as well, we talked about this beautiful jellyfish aquarium that we did that is a see-through. Uh, that one was somewhere close to 900 gallons. It's doing super well. The jellyfish are nice and big now, about this size. Again, similar filtration system to a reef. You have protein skimming. You have some Chemipure Blues on there. You have temperature control, your auto feed system. You have a water exchange system. There's plenty of flow. It's pretty simplistic, but you gotta have the right flow patterns and care for that aquarium as well on a constant basis. That's a really a common theme with any marine or freshwater or jellyfish aquarium. They need continuous care, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, or more. Likewise, we had another divider aquarium, literally two doors down from the jellyfish aquarium, which was a 600 gallon reef residential. There was a beautiful office environment. There was a, a wonderful living room space. When you first walk into the foyer of the house, I think it's about 32 inches wide, eight feet long, 48 inches tall. And that has uh, another tremendous filtration system. There's montipores in there. There's all sorts of other stony corals and soft corals, some euphilias and things growing in that aquarium that are doing super Super well. That one's running now about a year and a half and is another prime example of the establishment of a successful reef aquarium. We had put that for the uh, copper band butterfly in there from rising tide. That fish was doing fantastic last time I saw it. So that's a, a short recap on, on some of the really key projects from this past year. There have been others, and there's some really exciting ones that are gonna be working on going into November, in December, and even into January. So next week, I've got a really special one picked out, and you'll wanna stay tuned and take a look at what's coming up in the month of November. Look forward to seeing you then.